Hello and welcome to FL Studio. Today I'm going to try and show you how to add a third party VSTI into FL Studio in the Manage Plugins section. So it now opens up in all the correct parts of your FL Studio and works within the wrapper and all that sort of junk. It's relatively simple but also quite complicated because people seem to struggle with this because FL Studio is not very user friendly when it comes to using third party products. Anyway, so here is my plugin that I'm going to be using. Magical 8-bit plugin. I just needed it for reasons, uh, mainly because I'm not making 8-bit stuff. Anyway, so we need the VSTi for Windows and that DLL file. So where does that go? Well, if you right-click, well, if I right-click on here, I can just go via my presets routing into the FL Studio directory. But most of you will end up here. And you need to go to the plugins section and VST, self-explanatory really. Then you just, you know, you click and you drag. Magical 8-bit plug into there there we go now it's in it's in fl studio now i just need to uh pull that back and do that but i need to close and restart fl studio just so it rereads everything so close that boot it up again now if it's not already appeared in these lists here uh, let's see you got installed generators anything in here i don't think it's been there so if we just refresh the list there we go that will refresh it yet again there we go, and you can have a look through here, let's see if there's anything under chip tune. nothing ought to be, no, not put under there, but that's where I'm going to aim for it to go. So, we need to just go and find it, now that it's been put in, it'd be under new somewhere, so if we go to plugin database, installed, generators, new, magic 8-bit plugin, there we go. I'm just going to drag it in here for now. So we've got it installed, and it, you know, if I have my keyboard plugged in, it probably will work. Ah, that's loud, but yes, it worked. It made a big, big sound. So, 8-bit plugin. Here we go. How do you put it in the right area? Well, click down here, add into plugin database. There we go. Flag as favorite. So, you must select or open the plugin database subdirectory that you want to put it in. So, chip tune. There we go. Bang, easy. Magical 8-bit plugin right there. If I want to add another one, replace that. I can go to synth and it probably, uh, no, it'll probably appear in chip tune. There we go, Magic Eye Bit Plugins right there. I'm not going to play it again because that sound was too loud for life. Anyway, that's how you install a third party VST in FL Studio. I'm glad I could help and bye bye.